Hello. Um. Oh, oh, oh. Right. There's a big input delay on the switch. Very cool. Hello, hello. I am gonna need to learn how to button again. Uh, world map. Where do I go to the train? There. Let's see how the game works again. It's not a good idea to jump into the hardest content, or like the newest content straight up without any, any preparation. Doo -doo. What was the button to... That's the one. Okay, that's the, the big thingy. This is the bread and butter combo. And then this is the counter, yeah. Okay, cool. I think I got it. <laughs> oh no. Uh, world map. Central Plaza. Let's go check out the new, new monster. There's two new monsters. Uh, one is like story related, I guess, quote unquote, and then the other one is um, um, the other one is just like what is hunter loadout? Manage loadouts for items, equipment, and layered equipment. Oh, I see, I see. Very cool. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, right? Right? Yeah, th this one, th they've been sort of slowly but surely getting more like uh, approving of like the hardcore scene. Uh, in World, World was the first one that had the training area. No, no, no. Uh, Moxie Adrenaline Defender Medi. I guess I'll take that. Oh, I should have used a dango thing. Oh, they worked anyway. Okay. Very nice. Okay, so do I have my items? I do. I do. Sort of. And then urgent quest. Uh, clashing swords upon the run. This one is kind of neat because... Um, it's the first monster in the game that isn't just a like recolor of a previous monster that has been uh, added to to an update like this. Um, all the previous ones have just been basically um, like recolored versions of the already seen monsters that have like one or two more attacks, and otherwise they're pretty much the same. This one is the first one that is that wasn't previously on on Rise. The volume okay? Thank you for the sub, Arcade Prime Gaming. Very good. Very good. Very topical. We have a blizzard here in Finland right now. Yeah, Bell Kahana, the faucet of dead. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, and then we can eat this one. Yeah, no worries, no worries. The, today's stream is just for sort of uh, my curiosity of just checking out the new Monster Hunter content. Um, I haven't I haven't played at all since the last time I streamed this, so <laughs> so yeah. I, it's it's not super interesting to play Monster Hunter by yourself. 
So I haven't really I haven't really uh Oh What is this fucking slow ass roar? What the fuck man? And it has this smarmy version of the song. Okay. I was hoping maybe it would have like its own slightly altered version. to go moxie hit there because of the... I actually never fought against the Delcana with a uh, switch axe. Wait, that was it. You're gonna brag after this, right? Yeah. No, I didn't want the dog. Oh, you're gonna brag after that, too? It's a bit too greedy. Oh, he doesn't fall over anymore! Yeah, that's good. <laughs> so Velkana was like one of the most pathetic Elder Dragons in in original world because it used to fall over every time you break one of its like ice barriers or whatever and that would basically make it so that you could like just keep it falling over constantly which is super lame it doesn't really feel any different from world though to be fair ow haven't really gotten any nice counters Oh yeah, I get like a power up if I counter, right? I think. Wait, how do I activate power up like without countering? Oh, it's paralyzed. Oh no, it's powered up. Oh, I guess it just does that. Sure. This is like a budget version of Belkana. I guess we'll see the 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 real version when we uh get um the uh, little playthrough that Nico and I are, are planning on doing with the modded uh modded uh, world. Velkahana Hardclaw. Let's sharpen my weapon. This is a new DLC. Yes, this is the new DLC. Yes. This is the latest update. Oh, 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 we have here a nice, uh... Oh, oh, it's running away. Okay, I guess we're not fighting that, Velkahana. I'm sorry. Oh, shit, what is this? What is it doing? Oh. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, they didn't have that in the past. Pretty cool. Still pretty sort of soft. It's not like a very threatening. Uh, monster at all. Oh. 
He doesn't really have any attacks that are like, oh my god, I don't know how to dodge this. It's it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, I could argue, one could argue that that's a good thing. Um, because usually when the monsters have like attacks that are just like so fucking freaky that you have no idea what you're doing. I mean, I guess there's a certain sense of satisfaction when you do figure it out. Oh, you're not gonna do it again? Doink, doink. Oh. Go. He's angry. Oh, those do damage? What the fuck? I don't think those do damage in, uh, the world. Not that they, they really do a lot of damage, but they still do something. That's something. <laughs> it's making, like, this pointless ice wall. Like, no. <laughs> you can't touch me. Okay. Oh, we're doing this again. Wait, this is different. Is it? Oh, no, it's just pointless horseshit. actually able to hit pretty close these days, I suppose. Pretty nice. In the previous ones, or in World, he was just kind of like helpless when you're really close. Because his tail, for some reason, can't be close. Oh, hello. But yeah, this one isn't very intimidating, at least. It's a pretty familiar monster, pretty easy. It's a little bit different from, from World. But not really that much. If I was playing like a weapon that I'm completely familiar with, this would probably. Especially Hammer. Like, Hammer is so good against this guy. He has like a very minute uh, angling fix that he can do at the end, which he didn't have in World, which is nice, honestly. He was so helpless up close. It's just a small thing to get used to, and is he gonna blow the, yeah, the ice? Oh no, he's just gonna... We're gonna, okay. Yeah. Oh no, he's just. Oh, he has like a second, the second stage freeze, Angie. Oh, his ice wall actually did something. Oh, oh, he's gonna do super, super Angie ice the thing. Yes. Mm 
let's uh, ignore me push. Paralyzed. Very good. Delicious damage. Yes. Very good. Expect that. Hey, where is it going? Oh, he's just running away. Ah. To be like that sometimes, yes. When you have to rely on unreliable people. Nice two frame animation monsters. Oh, 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 oh. Here we have Mr. Guy, uh, Magnamaro. Fight, 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 fight. Yes. Oh, turf war. Oh, they're fighting. Oh, shoot, they're fighting. Shoot. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's been frozen. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We can ride him. Ride. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Let's ride. Okay, wait, what were the buttons again? Uh, like that, yes. And then I want to ride this guy. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. Oh, fuck off, Rujang. Okay, nice, nice, I got him. Okay, the other one, please. This one, yes. That didn't go exactly as well as I was hoping because of Rojang coming in to intervene. Maybe maybe we can take Rojang too. No? Okay, cool. Well, at least we can grab these delicious Velcano materials. Very good. Yes, Angie Monkey. Fight, 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 Angie Monkey. Kill him! Kill him, Velcana! Kill him! Turf war again! What the fuck? <laughs> oh shit, Shubapana! It's getting fucked. Oh yes, there's some damage coming right here. Come down with Ow shit, stupid monkey. Oh, <laughs> there was still like one more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn. It was cream. Oh, 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 oh. Let's grab the delicious wire buff. Yes, yes, yes. It's nice that they're starting to sort of do a little bit more damage. 
but the, the monsters are still like completely overwhelmed by all the anime horseshit that you can do in this game. I'm hoping the, the Risen Valstrex, whatever thing, strap on is gonna be able to do a little bit more. This guy seems to be almost dead. We don't even have to like hit him well. He's still dying in like 20 minutes. Just playing. And I don't have like really good gear at all. You could have like a solid 20% stronger weapons at this point because of the new update stuff and the way they work. This could just be going like a, a fixed 20% faster. Still hitting. in this one. Just have stamina. Ah, oh, shit. I can't believe you've done this. Wait. Oh, he's fine. Oh, yeah, it's, it, it is uh, 30 FPS on the Switch. Unfortunately. I think, like, the handheld mode, it's not so noticeable on the handheld mode. But on the on the big screen it definitely is, yeah. Pelicans lost again, I need more emotional support. I'm sorry they lost. Opa. Yura. This is not good for him. You really don't want to fall over when you're at critical health. Why is it playing this music like I fucking saved the universe? That was such a pussy ass loser quest. Oh, did my voice actually come through? Did, did I clip there? <laughs> Come on, just card this shit. Any clipping? I, I set my I did my audio setting a little bit different again. So I don't I, I don't know. But apparently when I've been doing impressions, I've been I've been clipping. I think it came through. Okay, cool. Yeah, it, it looks like it, it looks like I've saved the world. Like the music is playing, the the most of the world's like, oh my god, you saved the universe. This is the the flagship monster of Iceborne, um, Monster Hunter World Iceborne, uh, Velkana. It's a very very easy uh, Elder Dragon, not not a particularly tough one. And we get hit by attacks that send you flying. <laughs> I mean, what? What? And it is screaming. Hunter Ang. Went up, Master Ank went up. Cool. saved. That was such a fucking lame, shitty quest. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, you fucking really got got him. Fucking yeah, you did the frost gate. Okay, so they do actually have frost craft. That's that's cool. Um. Oh, forge armor. Uh, Rhine guard. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's like something, alright. 
uh, critical element, element exploit, ice attack, maxed out, critical draw, quick sheath, and then it should have frost craft. Wait, where's the frost? Oh, there it is. Okay, level three. Yes. Uh, frost trap was actually a pretty good um, uh, skill in, in world. Uh, I think I used it when I beat Fatalis for the first time. Obviously, now that I have like the best set in the game in, in world, there's no point in using frost traps anymore. But... Um, Wow! But, um... Right, the Argosy box was full. That was here, right? But it, its idea is essentially that you... Uh, you sort of build up, like, a meter uh, over time, and I think by doing damage, and then uh, when the meter is full, uh, you can... Uh, no, no, you, 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 you increase a meter when... Um... When you have your weapon sheathed, and then when you unsheath your weapon, you get like a big damage boost to the attack that you unsheath with, or like for a couple attacks or something like that. And he was really good for Greatsword because of his hit, hit and run style gameplay. So this one, this one is the this one is gonna be the tough one. Um, this this should be this should be like a hard one. So so let's do this one. I hope it's hard. Uh, it would be nice if I failed. I don't think I've failed a single one of these. No, I might have failed, like, Risen Teostra once. But the second time it was really easy. Okay, uh, we are good on that. Okay. Let's see. I'm not really gonna do any other prep work, because if you prepare too much in this game, everything becomes so stupidly easy that it's not even funny anymore. You killed Alduin and saved Skyrim. Yes. See this risen man. Oh, there's not even a cutscene? Oh, I guess the risen guys just don't have one. Sure. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I guess I could have used the camp. But let, let's just go around and pick up some of these stupid pointless shit game mechanics flies. Um... before we go, just in case it has, like, some really big attacks, which it probably does. That's kind of the thing with these Risen guys, is that they do a lot of damage, and they have very short, um, like, cooldown frames, so they can do, like, multiple attacks in a row, do so sort of, like, chain attacks very quickly, overwhelm you, which is fun. The Risen Elder Dragons are, like, the most fun part of these updates. So let's see uh, Valstrax. It's actually... Valstrax, it, as it is, it's already, like, a semi-challenging monster, and now we have, like, the improved version of it, I guess. Oh, it's charging instantly. Stop charging. Ooh, ho, 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 wait. Why do I have critical health? No! Wait, how did I go to critical health? What the fuck happened? Oh. That was new. Good damage from the front, though. Huh. It's like a sword swing. Stabity stab. Stabity stab. Those are the same as the normal version. Whoa! Wait, what the fuck did I follow? Okay, well. Uh, what was the map again? Uh, does it... Can it actually come here? I don't think it can. Fuck! Stupid map. Uh, map... Uh, how, how did I open the map again? Oh, from here. Yeah. 
Uh, this one, please. Finally, some challenge. I, I don't know if it is. Uh, I think what might have happened was that when I was countering, I got hit by, like, the residual explosions that come from the attack. Uh, which could be a thing. Uh, that's that's my guess, at least. Uh, the the counter attack gives you like armor, so like you're you don't react to. Oh, he's just gonna fuck off, yeah, and leave me here. <laughs> well, that's nice. Oh, crimson glow vast stretch material, old dragon treasure. Okay, cool. Let's go find it. Uh, it's in there with beetle juice. Okay, wait, wait, is it coming back? What the fuck? The fuck? Don't do that. It's not good. Woo! Ow! No, 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 no. That was really bad. The, the fucking bumpy terrain almost fucked me over. Come on. Come on to the even ground. Thank you very much. Woo! Holy shit, okay. Uh-huh. Alright, I don't have life steal in this game. Okay, that's not good. Ooh, that does a lot of damage. Oh yeah, I definitely got hit by the residual explosions. It does leave them at the, the point of contact. Its tail takes good damage though. That I can probably counter. Honestly. It looks really scary, but I can probably counter it. Oh, yeah, that's not a good idea. <laughs> that, that was a really bad idea. Oh, he's charging. Hit the chest! What's he doing? Oh, he's just swinging. Holding the tits. Is he coming again? No? Oh yeah, he is. I really shouldn't counter that. Ooh! He's scary. I couldn't counter it. I, I was thinking he would do the stab. The, the really scary looking one. Oh my god. This is also really scary. God, timing on that is fucking wonky. Oh, right! No, I remember. I, I had some issues with this in Master Rank originally. You have to go close to him when he does that. I do remember that. It, it looks like something that you should run away from, but you're actually supposed to get close to him. Because he's, he's like, turning isn't as good when you're up close and personal with him. Okay, uh, let's see. It does one-shot you, <laughs> which is funny. I think the Master Rank Basic version also one-shots you, though. So, so far it hasn't been that weird, but but it's not Risen yet. It's it's not even, like, angry yet. The Risen guys go, like, super angry. Yeah, you can die three times. Well, two times, and the third time fails it. We're not gonna challenge this. Aha! Huh. His arms are no longer weak. Ah. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. It doesn't follow that up with anything. 
that one is the one that I think I could probably counter. I sort of knew what I was doing. So, if he's like in a charged state right now, but his arms don't take a lot of damage. What? That was just a random swing that instantly one shot me. Oh. Okay. Um, okay, sure. That's a little bit lame. That like a random attack just instantly one shots you. That didn't even look like a like a super strong attack or anything like that. That that was that was a little bit weird. I guess he uh, his damage output is just so high that uh, probably not necessarily meant to one shot you if you have like the like end gameiest of end game gear, which you should be having in, at this point. Technically speaking, I have like end game gear, but I don't have like the most optimized set that I could have at this point. Um. No, no, I don't really like when bosses one-shot you with, like, random shit attacks. It's it's not really super fun, because then you have to be really careful of, like, completely pointless things. And it's not it's not super fun. Uh, one-shots, one-shot mechanics are different from, like, fun difficulty. It, it was, it, it's been pretty fun, but I don't like the fact that it just instantly one-shots you from full health. I'm pretty confident I had full health. today. So... Okay, yeah, this one is up close and personal. Yeah. Oh, that was too greedy. Whoa! That's definitely a one-shot, too. I can sort of smell the one-shot. Yeah, I think it was just that. It was just like a random swing, which is kind of lame. But admittedly, I don't have the best kind of gear possible. At this point, you probably want to, like... Yeah, that's the that's the attack that got last time, too. Uh, it's probably, like, what you would want to have is, like, just full Elder Dragon gear at this point. Oh, now he's going Risen. Oh no. Oh no, what is this like? Where is he? Where is he? What? Woohoo! <laughs> he like shoots down a volley first. Okay, yeah. Note to self, go for the tail. Wait, wait, Th that doesn't one-shot you, but the, like the random fucking swing does. That's so lame. What is he doing? <gasps> okay, okay, that was my fault. That was my fault. <laughs> Shut up, stupid dog. Fuck off. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Very cool. Um... New attacks, oh, always fun to learn. Uh, obviously, when even more fun when they just insta kill you. So, yeah, um, but that's fine. Let's practice and let's. At least I won't have to end stream in like five minutes. So far, Tiostra is the winner with uh, one one kill. I got it on second run, so this one is now equal to Tiostra. Um, so let's see if we can pull pull a little bit further. Hello, hello, Delhi. Let me shout it, shout you out. Exclamation when shout out Deli BT. Deli BT. Magic the. Oh my god, what a surprise. <laughs> Very good.
Okay, let's try it. So apparently in these new versions, you can bring like NPC allies with you. But that just seems like so fucking lame. Even like this, even though, yeah, it does one-shot you with a lot of things. Um, it's still not like... I don't feel like it's like immeasurably hard. It just kind of reminds me of the... What you might call it? The uh, Magnum Allo variant. I don't think I actually... I don't, I don't remember if I did that on stream. But um, I did die on that like several times. <laughs> But this was before I had like a sort of set that I was comfortable with. Okay. Gaha. And let's drink this uh, potion. Increases our attack. I don't have any of those that increase my defense, which would probably be pretty good when I'm getting one shot by everything. Uh, so, like, the PC pussies uh, who play the game with like on, like, easy mode, uh, they have, like, a mod, usually, that um, makes you automatically collect, like, the maximum amount of the little spirit birds, so that then you don't get one-shot by everything. Uh, but because we're playing on the Switch, I don't have time for that. Does it, like... How did I die from that? W was I at full health? I thought I was at full health. What? Like, it, w it wasn't angry. It just used a random normal attack. I was at full health and it just one-shot me. Like... I thought for sure I took a hit from that earlier and I didn't die. I guess I must have like had it with the super armor from the counter. I mean, to be fair, the counter did, the counter did, um, um, reduce the damage and it makes it so that you can't die. So when you successfully counter, you, you are always left at one health at least. But that, that was just a normal attack. And it just instantly one-shot me. I'm not sure if I like that. That That's a little bit excessive. I feel like... There's a difference between just one-shotting, like, everything one-shotting you and, and like, actual difficulty. Uh, that's kind of... Mm, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll make some armor skin. Let's see if this makes any difference. Probably doesn't. Armor skins are kind of pointless. Uh, I can't make this because I don't have Pale Extract. Wait, can I make that? Uh, no, no, it's not a thing that you make. It's just something that drops from things. Um, manage items, transfer items. Uh, no, no, I didn't want to restock. I wanted to auto-sort. Here. And let's grab the armor skin. There we go. It's the normie version, but the difference is, like, I think, five defense, so it shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, wait, what the fuck? Okay, oh, right, 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 right. We ate, but we're good. Uh, no hit runs should be a choice. Yeah, it, it's, it's, I don't know. I, I don't really like, like, insta-kill mechanics. It, it's, it's, like, kind of lame. It's like, it, you can't practice or learn from a from a quest if, if everything just instantly kills you. Not to say that, like, the way PSO2 went about it, where you have to fight the boss 999 times until it becomes... until it starts one-shotting you. I don't think that's a good way to go <laughs> at it either, but this isn't either. So, as you can see, like, my, my, my life rose a little bit, and the, there's, like, an empty bar at the at the end. And the, when, when PC players pay, play this, they always have the health bar completely maxed out at the end of that. And the stamina bar as well, because they're losers who don't know how to play video games. Um, <laughs> but, but we don't have those luxuries here. Uh, because we are playing the, uh, the, the, the original version, which is the Switch version. Um, 
so we have to I'm, I'm guessing what the the boss is probably it's probably optimized so that uh it doesn't kill you in one shot with its attacks when you have the full health bar but obviously like collecting these things is like a fucking massive chore so so instead i'll just eat good and not die i guess I mean, we did pretty well last time already, but not not the specifically the last time. Oh, I should totally counter that. Okay, so we need to be really careful of the, the like even the normal attacks. Why does that do so little? It, it's so unbalanced. Like like what its attacks do. I died from a sweeping attack. But now I took like 20. We're gonna aim for the tail. Most of its attacks don't hit you there. So, now that we know that this is just one-shot mechanics, what that basically boils down to is that we just have to play it really careful, which is kind of lame, you know? This one shots. Wait, no! It didn't! What? I didn't take even half! What? How does that work? I really don't get it. Yeah, I guess I will. I need to keep health at max constantly, because otherwise I'm going to get one shot. Ooh! Hey, that was my bad. I was low on that stamina. Ow. Yeah, that kind of damage is totally fair. I can I can totally get behind it. But, like, the, the instantly getting one shot is not super cool. Something that I'm not super into. Hello, hello, Daimon. I'm testing out the new stuff. And I'm randomly getting one-shot sometimes by attacks that don't normally one-shot you, which is really strange. <laughs> so I, I, I'm not sure what's going on. But something's going on, for sure. I the Y Y. doesn't take like an insane amount of damage, so I'm guessing that it doesn't have like a massive health pool, which is sort of complemented by the fact that it does have like a sh super super crazy high damage output. Which makes sense, honestly. At least that's imbalanced, sort of. Is that the one that one-shot me? I don't know. I don't know which one of the swipes it was. Go for the tail. Ow. Then I need to be low again. Health has to be maxed out constantly. Wait, what is this? Oh, just poison tool. I'm gonna use it. Take this! Haha! <laughs> Oh, shit! You got fucked! Alright. You don't have to dodge away from that.
Oh no. Okay, well that doesn't one-shot us, so that's good. Yeah, it's it's whoopa. Whoopa. Does that twice. And then we swing at the tail again. Good speeds. Go. Very close. God damn, I couldn't hit the last hits. Oops, mistake. Ooh, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, can we chill for a second? There we go. Okay, it's leaving. Okay, cool. Now I can actually collect its PDs. Although, I don't think you can even get anything from it. Uh, like this. You have to get everything from the rewards with the Risen guys. Get Jogo. Airo. Oh yeah, I didn't even drink my Mega Demon Dreads and whatever. Hey, why is there a double shout out? Sorry, I can't really look at chat because this, this guy is kind of intense. Oh! They're having an Almundro. Yeah, yeah, punch him, punch him, Valstrax, punch him. Get him! No, don't let him ex escape. Yes! Get muddy, bro. It was so fucking close. Again? We're charging it up here, boys. Oh, now we're going risen. And he's gonna do like the super big bang, super super jiggity jang, jiggity jam jum jumer attack here. Yeah. The ambush is coming first. Okay, is he coming? Ooh. Not in there. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh. Oh. Get out of my way, you stupid little rhino. Okay, 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 okay. 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 <laughs> some, some idiots ran straight into that. Oh no, this is not good. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, I need to stop backing away from it. But it has like, doesn't, he hasn't used like the super, super big bang, jiggity zoomer attack. 
Oh, now it's doing it. This was like, uh... Oh, it's just stabs. Okay, okay, okay. Just wait, just wait. Uh, let's 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 recoup a little bit. <laughs> okay, it, it did the big. Wait, where is it going? Oh, it's coming here. Hello. Ow. It's not cool. <gasps> Come on. Don't be like that. No, self, don't run away from him. Just be close. No, I don't want to sharpen my fucking weapon. Thank you very much. Mm. Oh, now he does that. Come on, let me come close to you. As, here we see, as we say here in Finland, but I'm watching you. Let me like maybe let me up close. Ow, okay, no. Sure. Turn, turn, turn. The fucking thing that one shots you. Okay, 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 okay. Oh no 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 no. Run 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 doggo animal. Run. Run escape. Run escape. Run escape. Okay, 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 okay. Runescape, runescape, run escape. Holy shit. It's the the, the wide swing is risen. Oh, it follows you. Holy shit. Okay, okay cool. Uh, right. I need to do damage to it. It can't get out of the prison form unless you do damage to it. You can't just wait it out. I can't see shit. Ow. Oof. When do you... Like cool down. Okay, okay. There's big, big, big spin coming. And big stab coming. Okay, and the, the stab is like stupidly accurate, so you have to Superman dive it. really pushes you back. Does it let you close? Oh, 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 but this is good. Not that I did, like, any damage, but still. Ow. Need to back away soon. I hate playing like really carefully like this. I'm not really fan of it, but if the game demands so, then so we do it. Ooh. That one doesn't want to one shot at me. That was my that was my mistake. I shouldn't have panicked with the heals. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Go restock. Manage item, item logouts. This, this, yes. Thank you very much. Okay. If it's gonna be like a hit and run kind of monster, I might have to switch weapons here. Just kind of lame. It's like hitting so many attacks in a row that it's, it's kind of like. I don't know exactly when I could counter it. At least safely. Like, like I know how to counter it, as we saw in the start. But I also lose like 90% of my health when I do that. Uh, Doggo. Just coming here. Yeah, it is. Doggo. Uh, 
sniff them out. And we want a this thing. Uh, where is it? Is it not here? Oh, I guess I don't even have them sniffed out in here. Oh well. I guess that's fine. That just means we have to be even more careful. Which is kind of lame. But that's fine. Oh, we should definitely drink these though. Oh, and now I don't have the fucking defense potion. God damn it. Okay. It's not good. Um, I guess we'll do with this. Like, moves a lot with its tanks, which is bad for me. Because Switch Axe doesn't really move a lot when it attacks. We're still not done! Fuck! God damn. That was kind of lame. That was super lame, actually. I keep forgetting that it does like 15 attacks. <laughs> And they all one shot you. Uh, okay. Generally speaking, you only have to like push them out of the risen form like once, and then the, they die on the second time they enter it. It's about the amount of health they have. Oh, oh, cool. Yeah, yeah I don't know. What I can even do there, honestly. If I if I withdraw my weapon and it instantly does that, I don't know if I have it it goes so f oh I can probably counter it though. That's so scary though. <laughs> but that yeah, that, that that was kinda lame. That was kinda lame. The the fact that I just died to instant one shots again is. Okay. One shot city. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. But if it keeps looking like this is gonna be a bad time with this weapon, it's fine. We can always uh, swap over item loadouts. Um, let's uh, let's get. The, well, that's actually first item loadouts. This one, and then manage transfer this armor skin. And then um, now we register this as the item loadout. Uh, register. There we go. Now we don't lose the armor skin randomly when I die. Yeah, I couldn't really keep up with the with the with the tail much. Honestly, I don't know if. Well, obviously, when it gets goes into the risen state, it just doesn't let you come close at all, which is kind of annoying. Um. Which is like where like great sword, for example, would be really good at, because you can just do like strong attacks while running, running, and then you run in and then you sw swipe it once and then you run back down, uh, which is a lot safer than this sort of staying constantly in close proximity. I'm not really sure what I can counter safely on this thing, because it feels like I'm constantly getting punished. Like with these like infinite combos to just keep going, like even the when it lands from the air dash thing, it leaves like one shot particles on the floor, which is like okay, sure, cool. Uh, let's get this. 
And then this. Uh, at this point, I think you're supposed to have like like uh, you're supposed to have been grinding the anomaly quests, which are also just like one shot festivals. Which is why I don't I haven't really grinded them. They're not really fun. Um, they're basically like the monsters one shot you, but you can also like stun lock them. That's basically like the the premise of the the quests, which is fine since it's like an optional side thing. But you get like a like a lot of really really powerful skills and stuff from them. And they are, um, they are generally something that, uh, people would have grinded at this point. I obviously haven't because, like, I don't really care. I don't really care for them that much, if I'm completely honest. Because they're just... The same monsters that I've already fought for like hundreds of hours, but they just one shot you with everything. And I'm like, okay, cool. I guess that's for someone, but it's not really for me. I did do them for a little bit, but uh, it's just the rewards are fine. You can sort of like get randomized skills on your armor from them, which is which is actually really cool. You can really like customize your own dream set with with the power of that. But, but it's also really boring to grind them. So... Uh, something side thing, but you also get something super... Yeah, exactly. It is pretty much mandatory. Uh, but I don't have the energy to grind those by myself. It's boring as hell. And Monster Hunter randoms are always a pain. Uh, people in Monster Hunter are like the community is kind of shit. Uh, so it's not really fun to play. Like, people in, in Monster Hunter are so, like, a arrogant that they kick people for having, like the, the, like, the paid store costumes and stuff like that on. Because they're, like, so up their asses with the elitism. So, like, if you pay for anything, you're, like, a fucking scrub. They're, they don't really give you any power or anything. Uh, they just, uh... They just make you look different. And if you do that, then you're gonna get kicked from some lobbies because of how stuck up people in Monster Hunter are. Which is really fucking embarrassing. Um... Back in my day, Monster Hunter was a lot more peaceful, I guess. Um... Uh, there were obviously those cases. Like, I, I would kick people pretty quickly from lobbies as well, to be honest. Um, but that was basically when uh, when the people, like, the person was obviously not carrying their weight. Because Monster Hunter is not like one of those play games where, like, it's always beneficial to have a person in the lobby. Because if they don't do enough DPS, then they are actually a burden. Because the monsters get more health when there's more people. Um... But yeah, it's like... I, I don't really like playing with randoms in Monster Hunter. Because they're just super toxic. I remember there was this fucking heavy bowgun main. I fucking hate people who main heavy bowgun. <laughs> They've all been like assholes and super arrogant. And then they also suck. They're just like trash at the game. And then they only play heavy bowgun. It would be nice to get, like, a heavy bowgun user who's not actually cancerous and who's actually really good with it. That would be super nice. So... Mm. I think a lot of builds these days use, like, lifesteal and stuff like that. Which I don't actually have. Um, which would probably help with the passive uh, passive healing. Because like when I lose like one health, I have to instantly heal, which is kinda annoying. Um, can't be as cancer shit. Like I can be the cancer shit black mage for you in Final Fantasy XIV. I don't think uh, people think black mage is like a secret super weapon that is like the strongest of everything. 
Uh, for, for anybody who's wondering why I'm abandoning the quest, is if you die uh, in like less than five minutes, there's no point in continuing. When it's a, a quest of this caliber. Um, where, where the enemy just one-shots you with everything. There's like no point whatsoever if you don't get a good start. Uh, was there anything... There's Medic. Uh, fighter, Medic, Defender... I really need the purple thing, though. Moxie. Moxie, Medic, Fighter. What about this one? Dungo Fighter, Medic, Moxie. Let's try this one. Switch Axe is actually quite decent against the normal version, but I don't know about this one, because in this one, the damage output of the monster is so stupidly high that even if you successfully counter stuff, you still take like 90% of your health, which is not super cool. Um, I mean, it does make it so that you can just counter spam, which is good, but uh, the Switch Axe wasn't really a counter spam weapon to begin with, so kind of here and there. Now, the real issue is the Risen form. I can handle the Normie form, but the Risen form is definitely... I don't know how to attack it, like, reliably. I don't know what attacks I can go for when it's in that state, because if I get too close and starts using the Raid Wipe, uh, I, don't, I don't know what I can really do there, except for counter it, and that seems like such a nightmarish thing to do. And up close and personal is bad. And as you can probably see, there's no iframes really in this game. Uh, there is, is, is no Dark Souls. So you don't really dodge attacks unless you have like really high evasion skill. Uh, you have to sort of like be out of their way in advance or otherwise you're gonna get hit. No matter how well you time your dodges. Especially with Valstrax because he has like, when, whenever he like swings his thingies at you, he sort of, he like, has them linger a little bit. Oh, right. Oh, shit, he did, did, actually didn't hit me. What the fuck? Hate fighting on these fucking ledges. Just please come over here. Ooh. Or over here. Something. Please don't stay there. Okay, thank you. I don't care to attack. I hate the fact that his front legs aren't a weak spot. The, the face is like such a risky spot to hit. Now we're not at full health anymore, so... Let's fix that. He's gonna come back. I'm so glad he doesn't have a hitbox for the spin. damage. Holy shit.
Tori. No, I'm not a fucking pussy. I'm not bringing the healer NPCs into the fucking quest. <laughs> You just cheat. You'll be able to win. Just turn on easy mode. Like when Kala asked me, like, why are you so loyal to me? I said, dude, why are you doing hard, hard things? Why aren't you doing it the easy way? Isn't that more fun? Because you can win. There's no value to winning if it doesn't come through effort. It's not about using all tools available. It's like, like, is it fun when you play Elden Ring with the fucking Mimic? Because the Mimic just does all the work for you. Like, you can basically have it solo like all the bosses. Is that really fun? I don't think it is. I think there is, uh, like a... Yeah, exactly. It's it's not that hard. You just need to have it like a specific build and you're good. And then you don't learn anything, like when you just like to see it out all the time. What? What? Did he fall over? He fell over. He paralyzed in the middle of the fucking flight. That was fucking funny. Ow. He's potion. Is he gonna leave? Okay, he is. Cool, let's carve his tail. Just out of spite. Risen Crimson Glow Valstrax tail. <laughs> Big fucking Black Noble title. Uh, fuck. Yeah, so, like, it's like... Where's the, like... Why do you play video games... If it's not to feel like... You're doing something? If the game just plays by itself, it doesn't really feel like anything, I feel. At, at least in my opinion. But, uh, like, I can totally understand that if it's, like, so hard for you that you just can't do it with, like, just skill. Then, yeah, like, obviously turn on the easy mode and whatever. That's totally fair. But, like, I do think that I'm good enough to, like, kill this solo. Um, so there's literally zero reason to turn on the pussy mode. Okay, that's that's how it works. Okay, cool. You know. Unfortunately, the, the tail suddenly becomes harder to hit because it's so stupidly short. Coming back. 
Yep. We're gonna fly too. Now. Yeah, like if it, like it's totally. I think it's great game design that the games do allow you to turn on the pussy mode if you want to. But like when you think that you can do it without it, then I feel like there's much more value in doing it that, that way. Because then, like you know, you you get scooter, and uh, you can be prouder of your achievements. It's, it's not just like okay, well, I just turn on down the difficulty. I hate video games when they, like, like God of War. I remember had that, where like if you die multiple times in a thing, it just asks you, "Do you want me to turn down the difficulty because you suck?" Which is so fucking mean. And the the time, yeah, that that just insta kills you. That's so cringe. Another fan. Okay, now it's going risen. Okay, I have some time to heal. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Uh, and the, the the thing that I always died in was that there was like a swimming section in one of them. Where, um... Ow. Okay, so if you get fallen over by that, you can't look up when it's shooting the shit down, because then you can't see the shit on the ground, and then it comes down and gets you when you get up. Okay, that's that's nasty. Is that redundant? No, this one guy actually did it first. They don't shave off 30 seconds if you know which ones to pick. If you bring up the ones that have hunting horns, then yeah, they do, they, they, they cut off a lot more than 30 seconds. Sure, if you bring up the, the shitty attack ones, then yeah, or the healer ones, yeah. But if you bring up the hard hunting horn guys, they are absolutely broken. Because they just... The, the other one just gives you a flat 10% damage boost. So, you know, obviously it's going to be a significant improvement in damage. <laughs> Don't go. Sayonara. Uh, I need to remember to drink the armor jewels and whatever jewels. So now the issue is that I don't know how to dodge the, the big raid wipe. Uh, and especially like, because it has two, two segments to it. The first one is the spin that one-shots you, and then, one, then the next one is the stab that one-shots you. So far I've dodged it by running away from the spin and then Superman diving the second one. I know you can counter the first one probably. I don't know if it has like a double hitbox where it, if, if it spins and then it comes back from the momentum, then it does also kill you. If it does, that's unfortunate. Be careful. Oh, I think I actually know. I have an idea for what I can do uh, when it goes risen. <laughs> it's gonna be kind of shitty, but it's like the one thing that I could t definitely do is uh, when it goes, I could do the the monster riding things when it's risen. So that I can at least push push like the damage onto its like stagger. That could definitely be a thing. I probably this one isn't gonna go go to the end, most likely, but I can at least try it out with these guys over here. Who are just hanging out. The the, the normal monsters don't actually go aggroing the risen monsters, because the risen monsters can't be like toppled. 
God, I hate Anjana, the stupid fucking roar. Come on. Do something to cringe. Oh. Okay, that works. Thank you, Seregio. Great, cool. Let's bring... Oh, fuck. He's here. Oh, wait. Oh, no, that was a different attack. Oh, come on. Go away, Seregios. Fucking stupid idiot. You can actually ride these? What the fuck? Okay, well, that's good for us. Let's push. Uh, come on, Sergios. Thank you very much. Is there like a. Oh, there would have been a Mirebot behind it. Virgin. Definitely the way. Oh, shit, I totally forgot. Uh, I need to drink the, the attack juices or whatever. I died so quickly last time that I kind of forgot about these. Because I'm on my last life now. This one. I might as well cap out on stamina as well. I don't think this is going to go anywhere this run. But, just eat the fucking meat. But at least it's a good practice. Uh, it's it's a good idea to use the Punisher with the mounted mounted attacks when it's doing that. He's like pushing me away from his chest when I. Oh, I forgot that I, I, I have this thing. I should probably have used that too. Okay, now it's gonna go Risen again. I should probably sharpen my weapon. Now we extra angle. Oh, fuck. Nah. 
that that one I'm completely lost on. I don't know what... Maybe I can go behind it? I don't know where the hitbox goes. It looks like it's spinning, so... I, I don't know how to dodge that at all. It just insta-kills -kill, kill, you if you are too close to it. You don't have time to pull off your weapon in that time. Um, you don't have time to sheath your weapon during that animation, so... I really wonder what you're supposed to do there. Rather playing a normal, easy, if possible. When it comes down to uh, Dark Souls, I don't think platinuming the games is really that impressive because most of the trophies aren't really like about the challenge. Because it's not like it says to do like the boss without like healing or something like that. I think is it just like uh, you beat the boss, you get the achievement for it. So most of it is just like stupid, like busy work. Like oh, I'll find this. Smiling snowman in this area, or something like that. Um, so I, I don't, I don't really know about that. I don't know which Monster Hunter games you've played, so I don't really know uh, much, much on that. Yeah, but did you do, like, the hard content in them, or did you just beat the story? Because soloing the story isn't really that hard in Monster Hunter. It can be a little bit challenging, but... Uh, like, if you play Generations Ultimate, like, did you, like, go, like, soloing the, the super hunts of the... of the, uh... of the... Deviant Monsters? That's where it was at! <laughs> such a bad time they were they were just like this they were just like one shot festivals one of them was like it roars and you just die instantly it was such a bad time just such a shit design world was really easy though gave up a few okay so you didn't actually solo it you watched the you soloed the first opening cutscene <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's not actually a a matter of like like doing something exceptional in 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 Dark Souls. It's more a matter of patience and collecting shit. Maybe Daimo, you just need to play harder games. That could be the answer. When you like really get stuck on something, that's where it's at. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't hit it! Stupid switch axe. Ow! Okay, that's an abandon. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, it's more about seeing all of the game, yeah. I think, no, no, even in like the, the like the Crash Bandicoot Remastered Collection or whatever it's called, um, you don't actually have to get any Platinum to get the Platinum Trophy. You don't have to actually do like any of the hard, actually hard content in the games. Which is, uh, I feel like the Platinum Trophy should be like, you're a master at the game and not, not just like, you know, you just had a lot of time. Because there are, like, some kind of... I feel like there's more value in doing achievements that you can't just do by the, just beating your face against the wall. Uh, where you actually have to learn something. I can't really comment on that since I haven't played... Uh... Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, Bloodborne and 
old Dark Souls games that much. But even if you have to do stupid things to get to them, uh, are the bosses actually something that makes you stumped? Like, get stumped for, like, hours or even days? That's, that's, like, that's like something that I feel is enjoyable. It's, really like, the moment you actually beat it. Although, to be fair, with one-shot festivals like this, it's just, um, it's just kind of tiresome. Uh, it's not super, super fun. I, I had the same issue with uh, guild quests, like max level guild quests uh, in Monster Hunter 4. And the, and the, uh, the, 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 the super hunts in uh, uh, Generations Ultimate. But to be, to be fair, though, the super hunts are meant to be, like, stupid. That's the whole point of them. So, so they weren't meant to be soloed. Last boss of the die. I don't I have no idea what that is. Um, I don't know. Maybe you need some primordial darkness in your life. <laughs> there you do like some primordial darkness in your life. It's probably good. Okay, it's force pairing. I I don't know. I I don't think I played Neo. I I played Sekiro. They sort of blend into the same thing in my eyes, or in my mind. They're, they're like both very Japanese Dark Souls. This, 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 this. Did I? Wait, wasn't it Sekiro? Was that Neo? Do I have Neo? I thought it was Sekiro. I don't fucking know. Oh, okay, okay. I guess it was Neo then, yeah. Um, I should probably not be constantly talking when I'm <laughs> doing this. It has so many attacks that just instantly one-shot you. The reason to why I'm uh, restarting as soon as uh, I get hit by that... Uh, um, is because I, I have this skill that prevents me from dying from one-shot. Uh, but if I get hit by like a random shit attack like that, um, uh, so it's it's kind of like a wasted resource essentially. So I don't, especially when it happens like during the like first couple of minutes, there's no point in continuing. Well, the monster hunter world, world mod thing me the extra monsters for a regular replaces regular devil show with the old monster. What 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 do you mean old monster? I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. What is the old monster? <laughs> Running mocks in monster? Yeah, I have to because I don't play with the pussy mocks like you do. <laughs> I don't have, like, all of the... Like, I don't have the Rainbow Spearbird at the start of the quest. Unlike some people. 
So I get one shot by like everything. Uh, so Moxie actually makes a difference. It's easy to laugh when you play with cheat codes. Oh my god, you're not good enough to play without cheat codes? What the fuck? Yeah, it does! Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't have mods on that, like, turn you invincible from the start of the quest. Would be nice if I did, but I don't. So, yeah. I, I, I literally am missing, like, a third of the health that you can get. So. So, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, exactly. And who the fuck has the patience to do that? And th that's actually the reason to why I stopped playing with Jojo and his friends, because they always spent, like, most of the quest collecting the birds, and by the time they make it to the fight, it's already dead. It's like, it's fucking lame. But yeah, no, I, I can't play, like, with the pussy cheats, so... Um, I actually have to use the things that the game has in it. And I actually have to know what the boss is doing. Let me shut up for a moment. I need to I'll get fucked by this shit again. Taimo is literally actually cheating. He's using a mod that gives you like 50% more health at the start of the quest. In theory, I honestly I would use it too if, if I were playing on the PC because it just it's it's cheating within the perimeter like perimeters of the game. Uh, you can have that much like stats uh, without cheating, but the the thing is that getting to that point basically requires you to go on like a 20 minute grinding run at the start of every quest which is such a stupid fucking design thing like hey play this fast paced action game but first you have to collect blueberries for 20 minutes it's it's a really bad design choice and because the game is uh balanced with the ma with that mechanic in mind all the monsters one shot you because i don't have the 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 blueberry boss on um yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I, I would do the same. I think that the, the spirit birds are the worst thing about this entire game. Uh, but it is still cheating. That, that doesn't change the fact. That, yeah, it's, it's not designed to be done that way. It would be really nice if the Risen Dragons just had, like, a spirit bird at the start of the... Stop raising your fucking If there was like a some way of seeing like where the where the um uh, you could really also use uh, some like good hit boxes on his body. Now how do I beat your tail? I don't remember. 
remember how to dodge that. It's been so long. God damn it. Oh! Okay, that was a death. Cool. Well, it's been five minutes, so it's okay. I'm not gonna quit here. Okay. Well, yeah, there goes that one. Cool. Um, but yeah, no, uh, when you're not playing with the spirit birds, it's, it's like... It's like this, where you just get one shot by everything. Um, which is kind of frustrating, honestly. Uh, I wish they didn't exist, because the game is balanced with them in mind. Uh, for anybody who doesn't understand what I'm talking about, the, there are those like little colorful like birds or like flies that are flying around. And when you collect them, you get like 10 health, right? And you can collect like a shitload of them to increase your health by a massive amount. Uh, they're called perma buffers, but you lose the buffs after every quest, so they're not actually perma buffers. Um, and because the game is designed with the idea that not only do you have those maxed out, but you also have um, the defense and the attack and uh, all the other buffers uh, maxed out as well. Uh, th that's why I'm getting one shot constantly, which is a really, really weird game design choice. They didn't obviously have this in Rise, and I really, or in in World, and I really, really hope that they're not bringing it back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You get ten percent vitality, critical, and determination, but first you have to spearfish twenty vertigris copies. It's it's like a pointless busy work thing. That you have to do at the start of each quest, and I fucking hate it. It's like the most frustrating. Even with the yeah, yeah, obviously by by the by the like big attacks, but I'm getting one shot by like normal attacks. Uh, so so yeah. So as you can see, like my my health bar rose a little bit by getting that. So you have to collect like probably like 10, 15 of those health things, and that's when you have like proper health, and then you can collect these orange guys who give you defense. These guys right here. Let's jump and collect. Well, I didn't even hit it. There we go. Uh, they give you like minimalistic, like a two attack. Very cool. Um, and the idea is that you have to go on like a harvesting tour at the start of every quest to collect these shitty things. And like, I don't, I don't know like any people who genuinely enjoy that. It's like it's such a stupid idea, especially considering like. The whole point of Rise... Oh, I can't even get it. Oh, fucking forget it. Uh, the whole point of Rise was to bring Monster Hunter back to a portable format. Which was... Uh, because in Japan, Monster Hunter is a very popular game to play on, like, your trips to work and stuff like that. But... Uh, be and, and because of that, the, the quests are generally, like, bite-sized in design, where, like, you take about 20 minutes per quest or so, which is, like, exactly the, the duration of your, your average way to work. So, essentially, you get to do a single quest every time you go to work, and that sort of adds, like, a sense of fulfillment to your work trip or whatever, which is really nice. Uh, but when you have a 20-minute stupid side quest that you have to do at the start of every quest... Obviously, that completely destroys the whole point of the, <laughs> the thing. So, yeah. So, here we are collecting this stupid trash, but... Completely forgotten, but this, this this weapon has actually like pretty cool combos, doesn't it? Now, admittedly, I can't really do a lot of them because I can't make it fall over. I'm getting a stream's worth of content. Two hours so far in. Just good, I guess. This is 
eat me. Hmm. Just stuck in his arm. Rank, rank required. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In world, I no, no. In world, you did unlock every uh, stuff up to master rank two hundred, right? So in that sense, I think it's the same. Um, if I don't remember completely wrong, no. Did you? I don't remember. Was there content that you unlocked, like the the gold Rathaloses and silver Rathians and stuff like that? Wasn't that like? The in master. No, I think you might have actually unlocked those before, right? Yeah, you unlocked those before the uh, crimson or cure crimson glow angina, whatever it's called, the uh, ruiner nergigante. Yeah, th there were, but like, were there any after? Were there any after master rank one hundred? That's the that's the question. So, like my memory says that two up to 200 there is content but but I do remember that in uh, in OG world you could go onto fatalis at like master rank 24 which uh, which I think is while obviously like you get the shittiest players there like that um, uh, it was, I think, a good thing in terms of accessibility. Because, like, not everybody has the time to grind the Master Rank. Now we're gonna withdraw and we're gonna bring one of the animal companions. Can it actually ambush me here? Like it can, okay. Just gonna shoot. Okay, like there. Ow. Oh shit! Oh it went into the wrong room. Okay, cool, 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 perfect. Oh it can't come from a room to another with the ambush. Okay, okay, that that's fucking saved me. I got hit by the meteor shit because there were so many of them I couldn't even tell like where they were anymore. Okay, so let's go get uh, Seregios. I don't think we have mounted him yet. Even better if we can find the red spirit bird bug. What the fuck ever. That increases the damage of the mounting fucker. We need to hit a single counter on Seregios to pull it down, so it should be pretty realistic. And let's sharpen weapon. Oh, okay, so th there were, yeah, there, there were still monsters. Yeah, that's what I thought too, that there might have been a, a little bit of content that you unlocked with that, that strip. Probably not any, like, new things, per se. Uh, but, oh, there it is. This is exactly what we need. 
Uh, but probably, like, at least some sort of, like... Uh... No, it wasn't even subspecies. It wasn't even a rare species either. There, there was no rare species in... Um... In world outside of gold and silver. <laughs> so now we're gonna go here. Find our friend Seregius, who is known as Steve in Minecraft. Of course, he's too fast. There we go. Nope. There we go. Got him. Oh, Furious Rej No, Furious Rajang didn't require you to have hunting rank. It was the one of the event monsters, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure Fur Furious Rajang didn't require a hunting rank. It was like a specific hunting rank requirement. I, I, I didn't think so either. Wait, what variant? hate the fucking ledges sometimes. No, I don't want to fucking sharpen my weapon, god damn it. I got fucking hit because of the ledge. That's so lame. Really annoying. how close the Anjanath is to being mountable again. We could actually try. Did my attack and defense up go away? Yeah, they did. Oh, d did I not even have them from the start? Oh, that's cringe. Maybe I should have. Not that they really changed a lot. I think Mega Demon Drug is at uh, 7 attack up. Which is not that much. Nice two frames per second animations on these guys. Very nice, very nice. He does the stupid trumpet thing. Okay. 
grab the other wire bug for the sake of it. God, he's so fucking slow. And then he moves out of the way. Come on. No. I'm gonna do better. I wish the counter would do the mounting damage even if it doesn't counter. I think he's gonna be mountable. He's already had his legs broken. It's probably just a waste of time. Let's do one more. I don't think he's gonna fall over. It's fine. I didn't want to jump here. Oh, oh wait, he's going to mess with Serekios. Let's see if that actually does anything. The same room. I think Seragius is probably gonna fuck off right away. It's generally what they do as soon as they are in a room with the risen elder dragon. Let's put a fight with him. There we go. And then bring him over here. No, he fucked off right away. Straight up blew away. So, what do we do with you? I'm scared of attacking you, because if you do the big white thing, I'm gonna die. You don't have any cooldown with that. Come on, Anjanet, you fucking shit lord. Are you kidding me? Oh, This motherfucker. Fucking dares. Oh, and now he wants to fucking... Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> God, I hate you so much, Anjanet. much better when it actually goes prison but Anjanet is feeling feeling bitchy today so I sure sure I guess we do it like this oh oh we're you leaving oh, yeah ran into the center of the room. Why? the meta. Run away like there's no tomorrow.
Yeah, you actually have to come. You dodge that thing with like with like a normal weapon, like that doesn't have a counter. Fucking ring ding ding dong fucking die. Full health. Right, right, right. Ra ration. And now it's because I'm not doing enough damage to it in a specific room. Uh, that's when they run away. They have like a time limit, uh, like a DPS check time limit, uh, essentially. That they do. Recoup, recoup. Come on, Dogo. Ow. Can't think through that, right? Oh, holy shit. <laughs> oh, you're ticked. Okay, um... Alright, it's in combat with me. Right, right, right. Wait, how do I get out of here, though? Uh, we want to go get the spider. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. I don't remember how to counter the spider's scream, though. It's been a long time. Not like one of those big ones that you really fight very often. We'll see, we'll see. Also an important thing to figure out is, can I actually even make it all the way there where the guy is? I guess from down there, because the spider is right, right, like right here, yeah. Right, it doesn't scream yet at that point. So fucking slow. Come on. I hope that was just some counter hit. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, so. We're gonna go through here. Alright. Hopefully. And. Through here. All the way up here. And we have our risen friend over here. And we're gonna be... The spider is like one of the worst mount mountable guys. God damn it. Fucking... God, it's so bad. It's so bad. Come on. No, yeah. The spider is so bad. It's just absolute garbage. 
It's so slow. Okay, uh... I believe we got a couple hits in. It's not that the Punisher is like the most... Oh no. How the fuck are you supposed to dodge that? Without a counter! Get stuck, I got stuck. The next time it goes risen, we go get the Diablos again. again. Come on, Dugo. Oh, actually, we need to be close to this. Yeah. And then we fuck off. See you later, friendo. He's trying to chase us down. <laughs> yeah, it is trying to chase us down. Fuck you, Bellstrax. Fuck you. <laughs> it's coming after me. <laughs> I, I really like that feature about it. Hey, notice me. Notice me as I'm playing. Fight with the... There we go. Six, six, six. Diablos. Get him. Honestly, not even that fun. I don't like the one-shot stuff. Obviously, it probably would have actually been really fun if the if the birds were a thing. Uh, but because I don't have that option. Well, I do, but I'm not doing that because fuck that. Um, it, it's just I don't know. It's not super fun. That wasn't that wasn't a good good quest. Um. A little bit disappointing, honestly. Uh, maybe it's just because Valstrax is kind of like a monster that has a lot of like big hitting attacks, so it's it's sort of accentuated with the Risen thing. But but it, it wasn't like a super fun fight because of that, because like everything one shots you, you can't do like the cool stuff that you would want to do as a hunter, and. It doesn't feel like an intense battle to the death. It just feels like more like a strategic animal abuse session where I abuse its mechanics and just uh, find a way to sort of fuck with it. I mean, I, obviously, I did get a lot better because I was countering the, the, the thing that previously one-shot me. But I don't understand. How the fuck are you supposed to, like, survive that? Like, with a hammer? What the fuck are you supposed to do? 
I really don't understand, like... How, like, how does the hitbox on that work? Does he not, li like, have a hitbox behind him? That could be a thing. Um... But I, I really don't understand how that mechanic works. Obviously, I, I managed to do it because I have a counter attack. But most weapons, uh, most weapons don't have a counter attack, and that really stumps me. I, I really don't know what, what what you're supposed to do there if you don't have a weapon that has a counter. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I'm not going to be playing this game, <laughs> like, again, uh, until the next patch is here. Um, let's see. Forge weapons. Forge weapons. Like, the right, the Risen guys don't actually have... ...have these. Uh, Valkana is third, 340. It has three slaughter and a four slaughter. That's actually a pretty good weapon. To be fair, uh, I'm currently using this one, which is 340 as well. It has about the same amount of... Um, it, do, it does have more slots for, for gems, though. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Huh. But yeah, so... If you do like the the random uh, whatever things, um, you can add these anomaly slots, and I noticed that they also increase your weapon stats. You you get like plus thirty attack and plus ten sharpness, and it increases your weapon's rampage slots. Wait, no, th that might just be because of the fact that I have it uh, set on it. Yes, but like you can get like a flat thirty plus damage boost into your weapon, which is uh, almost 10% more damage by just grinding this uh, this trash that you do with the afflicted dire cortexes and whatever. Uh, Risen has only armor, yes. Um, and I could have been doing like about 10 or so percent more damage throughout this, uh, which obviously makes it a lot easier. And then obviously I could have been... Uh, uh, wait. There is armor crafting. I don't think stability... Uh, no negative effects where a large increase in defense is more likely to occur. Right. So you can also increase the defense of the augments, but I don't really want that because I have nice skills on my things. But I'm using, like, old meta, essentially. Old meta sets. I'm using these Rathalos coils and whatever. Uh, whereas, like, for example, the... Uh, the, the elder elder dragon monsters have considerably higher defense on the pieces so I'm sure there would be a way to get like a better set um what does this have dragon conversion is that the same thing as the the previous one uh no that's dragon heart what is dragon conversion no I don't know um, all elemental resistance is plus 10. When using the red swap scroll, the conversion rate for elemental attacks increases. When using red swaps, all elemental resistance is set to zero and then converted into elemental attack. The blue scroll raises elemental resistance. Okay. Um. Ah, ah, okay, I see. Does it still have the dragon whatever whatevering? Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, oh, but it has dragon resistance. Interesting. Okay, I see how it works. It has critical boost, maxed out, stamina surge, and stun resistance. That's that's uh, interesting. Uh, let's see what pieces the, the dragon conversion thing is on. It's on head chest and waist and then this one has was head chest waist this one dragon heart dragon heart ah ah so you can get at least dragon heart 2 
and dragon conversion going at the same time. That's interesting. <laughs> that's that's kind of funny. Um, not really interested in making that. Uh, it's nice that you can... Uh, it's especially nice that they're doing more support for elemental builds in the game. The armor is ugly as hell, though. Uh, but uh, the... It's it's nice because elements were sort of more a niche thing in the previous ones where like raw attack was always like number one. Um, so now the element power is increased like considerably, which is cool because it it like sort of encourages you to make new builds for different kinds of elements and stuff like that, which would probably be really fun if you had like a lot of time and a lot of like nice friends to play the game with. Uh, neither of which I do. <laughs> so. Mm. Uh, so, I don't really have the luxury of making like a billion sets, but but I can definitely see the appeal. Um, Onmyo, I don't even remember what this was from. Oh, that's from the that's from the new um whatever Mizutsune, yeah. Okay. And let's see, what kind of stuff do we have here? We have Advanced Jungle Fervor. We have Trade Obstruction, AZ Shadow. Eternal Flame. Scarlet Shining. Espinap Time. But there's no other quests with the Risen, Risen guy. Huh. Any, anything here? Oh, these don't even have anything new. That's kind of weird. Uh, what about the event quest? Is there something like special here? Another grand gesture. I'm getting guessing you get like a gesture for that. Uh, destructive stars. Oh, the dual threats were like these are like really like they're like really tough monsters. Like I think. They just have, like, super high stats. Maybe. Moonlit muscles. Running out of ideas. Yeah, I can see that. Shadow in the sandstorm. What is there? Why is there, like, a random... Shaladeora in here? It's weird. Um, okay. All of these I have already cleared. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll do these at some point, uh, when I have not, with nothing better to do. I kind of don't feel like doing like these random shit quests by myself. They're not really super fun to do by yourself. Monster Hunter in general uh, is definitely more fun when you have friends, unless you're doing just like challenge stuff, kind of like what I was doing. Um, which is um, like fighting like tough monsters by yourself, which is a thing. I, I usually, the way I like to do it is I always do the thing, like the monster first solo, so that I understand how it functions, because when you like just gank something with like four people, you usually don't learn nearly as much when you, than when you have to, uh, when you solo. But, um, but these like random shit mob quests are much more fun when you do them with friends. Um, so, so these would probably be something that I would do with other people if, if I ever play the game again with other people. Um, don't really have that high hopes. I don't really have any sort of group to play the game with. Um, but that's quite fine since it, uh, so far the trend, like the, the trend has been that uh, every every update, the monster the high master rank re request. Um, the master rank requests um, or requirements for the new update content are rising by 10 every time. So like the risen monsters uh, are just like rising by 10 uh, every, every, every update. So I'm guessing when the next update comes with uh, probably either risen uh what, what do they even have right left? A Risen... Uh, Velcana? That could be one. And then Risen Malzino. 
Malzino, I'm guessing, is probably going to be the last one. Uh, so, so those two are probably the ones that we are still going to be seeing in the future updates. And that would... This was 160 was the requirement for this. So the next one is probably 170 and then 180. And then if there is one more update... Uh, it would be honestly really cool to get a uh, risen Geismagorm. That would be awesome. <laughs> but um, I don't know if they will. But that would be a really good finale. Uh, a risen Geismagorm. That would be cool. Um, but... Uh, I think people have been talking that it's probably going to be Amatsu, Amatsu Magatsuchi, uh, who is very Japanese, as the name probably suggests. Um, Risen Jagi, yeah, maybe. Uh, but I'm a little bit bummed out, honestly. Uh, I, I, what I'm really bummed out, I guess, is the fact that I have the Switch version of the game. I don't want to buy the the, the PC version of the game because it's expensive and like I'd just be playing it by myself anyway so but but the PC version would be able to make sort of a lot of this like pointless mindless grind a lot more streamlined with the mods and stuff like that uh, if you would have me behaving there okay yeah uh, but you could like bypass a lot of the mindless grind with the mods and stuff like that uh, the mindless grind is what's sort of blocking me from playing this now. Uh, I don't really feel like just grinding the anomaly quests by myself. They're not that fun. Uh, they're cool for like speedrun content because it's really satisfying when you hit those counters onto those weak spots. And then the monster just like is blasted out of its powered up state. It's super fun. Uh, from that aspect but then they just start one-shotting you and then it's like okay yeah you just have to be careful and now the quests start dragging on and on and on unless you have like a like a like a co well coordinated group to play with uh they're not that fun um with a well coordinated group though anything is fun in monster hunter but but yeah because I have the Switch version, I'm probably not going to be touching it until the next update again. Uh, that's just kind of how it goes with me, unfortunately. Um, but I honestly think that it was a bad decision on my part to get the Switch version, even though it did come out earlier than the, than the uh, PC version. Because the mods do make it so much more comfortable to play. I, I'm sure I would have really enjoyed the Risen Valstrax if I had had, like, full health going into it, but because I had to constantly fight at, like, 30% uh, 30, 30 uh, reduced health, it's it's not fun. It's not fun when you just get one-shot by everything. Uh, it's fun when you get one-shot by attacks that are well, like, uh, portrayed, like, well uh, sort of signaled that you're like, oh my god, it's doing it, and I'm gonna die if I don't do this. I know they know how to do it. I mean, I know that this is the B team, but like, for example, Fatalis was so fucking good. It didn't have like a single unfair attack. Every attack felt like, like if, if, if it one shots you with an attack, you are like, okay, that was because I didn't know what to do here. Or that was because I reacted poorly to it, which was really, really nice. Um, I understand that it's not fair to hold the B team to the same standard as the A team. They've always had these one-shot things. Uh, Generations Ultimate was the exact same. That rises, where difficulty equals one-shot mechanics. Uh, which is not uh, good. Uh, probably wouldn't have this much one-shot shit if I had full health when I, go, when I went into quests. Which would probably make the game a lot more enjoyable. But the way the game is right now is... It's, it's, it's okay. It's still fun, but when you're doing these hard quests where everything one-shots you... Like, I can't play with any of my friends. Nobody's good enough to survive this shit. They're gonna get one-shot by everything. Um, and then I can't play with my friends, because then I get frustrated with uh, us being like unable to clear quests, because the other players keep dying constantly. Um, 
And no, I, I understand that a lot of people don't like to play like super passively, like I did today, uh, when I beat the the wow tracks. I, I didn't die a single time, I think, on the on the last thing because I got the counter timing right for the for the for the big wipe attack. But but it was it was boring. It wasn't a fun fight. <laughs> And a lot of people are more into the like, yeah, anime, go fucking kill everything, yeah. Like, most players like to play like that. And these monsters that just one shot, one shot you instantly, unless you go picking blueberries for the start of the quest. Um, I don't, I, I don't like. It. I, I look forward to playing Iceborne modded though. Yes, because Iceborne is like really well designed. Um, I'm planning on doing an, a modded Iceborne run with, with Amigo. If there are any people in chat who would want to join that, uh, please let me know. Uh, we are doing the Ice mod, which is a complete overhaul mod to a lot of game mechanics and stuff like that. And uh, we're going to be going through Monster Hunter World Iceborne with that mod enabled. And also probably going to get some like funny cosmetic mods, probably something horny. And uh, maybe like there, there was some mods that were compatible with it that were like content mods that add like some monsters into the game. So, so that's also interesting. Um, kind of after after the after the whole PSO two soloing, this honestly feels kind of lame. This like the the comparison here is that in in this one uh you can all you always have the option to go like slow and then kill the enemy sort of methodically like i did with the previous run that i got the, on the valve tracks which is which is good because there should be different ways to approach things but pso2 uh is like you have to counter everything and you have the risk of dying from everything that hits you and if you don't, then you don't clear the quest within the time limit, which is cruel. Uh, so in comparison with that, this is kind of pussy shit. <laughs> um, I'm a good boy who doesn't download horny mods to Monster Hunter games. Don't worry, I'll download the horny mods so that you will be looking horny, even if you don't want it. Um... <laughs> But, but yeah, um, but that's going to be it for today on my end. I actually still have some work. I, I'm a little bit behind on, on my schedule and I would like to get my work done tonight so that I don't end up being super stumped with like work for tomorrow. It, it would be nice to get a weekend. Last week I didn't. Um, so I'm going <laughs> to... Shit. Um, I'm going to finish work. And then uh, tomorrow, it's going to be my day off. So I'll just chill out. Take it easy. Uh, not worry about stuff. And hopefully, um, I'll be able to get some of this. Uh, my, my shoulders are really strained. <laughs> so it would be nice to get a little bit of that off, off of myself. And um, I have a little bit of special plan for my PSO2 soloing stuff. I, I'm going to actually swap my strategy uh, instead of like beating my head against a wall, wall with one of the monsters or the quests that I have left. I'm going to swap to a different class that I've never actually played with in the manner that I'm going to be playing it in. So it's going to be a test of like how well I can adapt into a completely new playstyle. So it will, it, will, it will be fun. Yes, yes, that, that would be very much appreciated, Amiko. Next week is going to be PSO2 soloing and Mega Man X5. Uh, Mega Man X5 is a very special game to me. Uh, it is the uh, first Mega Man X game that I've ever played. Uh, everybody hates it. But I have a mod to the PlayStation 1 game that is like a, it's like a, it's like a patch. It's like a fix to it. Uh, that removes or like fixes and alters all of the game mechanics that were like complete garbage in the original and turns them into good game mechanics and cool game mechanics. So I'm really excited to try out the modded version of the game. Uh, so next week is going to be Mega, Man's, uh, Mega Man X5 and Monster Hunter Soloing. 
and then um at right right uh and then uh the the week after we're gonna be playing kula quest uh which is a the only game that i have never finished because it was too hard uh we're gonna we're gonna go, we're gonna do a 100 percent run on that um and because uh on an emulator you have save states i'll be actually able to showcase every single level in the game um so the game has this mechanic where every single stage it's like a 3d puzzle of platformer where you have to complete like you have to collect like keys you're you're this beach ball and you have to collect keys in like a 3d labyrinth and then uh, when you have enough keys you can exit the level and then you go into the next level and each level has a, an apple uh, a watermelon a banana a pumpkin or a strawberry in it and when you collect all of them you go into a bonus stage however if you fail the bonus stage you will never be able to see one of the latter bonus stages in the game so you permanently like if you fail a single bonus stage you can never see one of the bonus stages again uh it is an extremely cruel game uh where like it prevents you from accessing the content if you're not good enough to clear it on first try and the 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 puzzles are extremely extremely hard um but we're going to be playing the japanese version which allows you to actually like look at the puzzle like like or uh, rotate the puzzle and sort of check it out when you're paused so so um that was something that the European and American versions don't have. And the Japanese version is the only version of the game that has the ability to enter every single stage in the game. Uh, the US and the EU versions are glitched out that prevents you from accessing one stage completely. And we are going to be doing our best to, to see everything, which is something that I've never done before. And I'm excited to try it out. So. It's going to be really frustrating, and the, the game is probably going to last me, like, a month to clear. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, look forward to that, I guess. Uh, solid localization. Yeah, so... No, no, it was developed in the EU. It was developed... It's a Swedish game. That's why it's so fucking mean. It's a Swedish game, so the EU version is the first version of the game. Then the US version, they tried to fix the glitch, but they failed. And the US version shipped with a like a like a broken fix to the glitch that doesn't work. And then um, the Japanese version is the final one where they actually got it right. And it's totally okay to play it in Japanese because the game doesn't have any like any like story or anything like that to it. It is just puzzles. So so yeah. So, so that, that's going to be fun. But next week, because I don't want to be super stressed out over a combination of PSO2 soloing and, um, <laughs> and, um, uh, a cooler world or cooler quest. Um, um, I, I, I'm going to have Mega Man X5 next week because it's a lot less stressful. It's not a, super difficult game at all um so so mega man x5 and soloing next week uh hopefully if i if i get good enough in pso2 i'll be able to clear the solo things that i still require clearing in a single session uh i don't know uh, one of them uh, the quest is a complete like anomaly to me i have no memory or no idea of how it's gonna be at all so uh, we'll see how that goes. Then the other one is um, something that I'm familiar with, but I'm trying it out with a completely new class. But the class just so happens to be the most powerful on-point DPS class in the entire game. Uh, that also gets like a like an exploit uh, in that particular boss. So I should be able to do like insanely high DPS on it. Uh, but we'll we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I need to do some prep work for it and see how that goes. Uh, in advance. And, and yeah. 
So that's going to be the plan for next week. Uh, I'm going to go do some work. Maybe have something to eat first. I'm a little bit hungry. So, so yeah. Thank you for dropping by today. Uh, sorry there wasn't anything else for the day. But this was just kind of for me. I was thinking that maybe if I can't clear Medieval in a single sitting, then I'll uh, do this, uh, do it today. But since I did, I figured that I'll just do the Monster Hunter updates today. Uh, so yeah. You are gonna work? Yes, I'm gonna go work now. So so I'll see you guys again next week uh, on, on Tuesday in the name of some more map drawing. And then uh, starting Wednesday, it's more gaming. So I'll see you guys then. Bye, y'all.